Today we're going to make apple butter. Really, really simple, straightforward recipe. You need your apples. About three pounds of apples. That's about ten medium-sized apples. I have seven apples here only because I have some really, really big ones and really, really little ones. If you want apple picking, you probably have all kinds of sorts of apples and that's fine. Use any of them that you want. Keep the skin on. You're going to cut them up and you're going to toss them in the slow cooker. Super easy. You're going to want to have about a teaspoon of cinnamon, a teaspoon or less of pumpkin spice, a half teaspoon of ginger. If you love ginger, put more into it. You could also add cloves or anything else that you want to have in your apple. Apple, what is it? Apple butter. Really simple. You're going to cut your apple. Now, I like to keep the skin on. I think it has a lot of the vitamins and nutrients in the skin. Some people like to take the skin off, but that's up to you. And then you're just gonna chop them up. Doesn't have to be anything special because it's all gonna get pureed in the end of the day. But pretty, about that big. And you wanna discard your core. So you're gonna do that with all of your apples. this recipe is that there's no sugar added. All the sweetness comes right from the apples. So it's just about the apples, the spices that you put on top of the apples, and letting it really just cook down nice and slow in your slow cooker. So in your slow cooker goes the three pounds of apples, goes all your spices, your cinnamon, your ginger, your pumpkin, Spice, your cloves, your nutmeg, whatever spices you want, and this is what it looks like. Now you're also gonna wanna put a quarter cup of water. So just drizzle a quarter cup of water on top. Now this is gonna be here for about eight to 10 hours. So it's gonna take a long time to cook, be patient. If you're home, then maybe you wanna like mix it around after four or six hours, just get all the juices going, see, how, see what it's looking like. If you're not home, no big deal, but it's gonna make your house smell incredible. I will be back here with you in about eight to 10 hours to check it out and see what it looks like. and woo, let's check this guy out that looks awesome now I actually peeked at it in the middle of the day and it looks like applesauce a little bit and the more you let it cook the longer you let it cook the more it starts looking like apple butter so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it in a blender and I'm gonna make apple butter let's do it Our apples in a blender. This is hot. Hopefully, I don't splash myself. It's splashing. We'll scoop it out instead. So, if you just want to have that applesauce consistency, you can stop after like four or five hours of um, your slow cooker. But if you really want that apple butter consistency, um, you have to go for a long time. And darker the apples get, the longer you go. This looks amazing. All right. So I probably would let it cool a little bit and then stick it in the fridge. I would say it could stay in the fridge for about 10 days, but if you have a lot of it, give it to a friend, let them enjoy it. I would eat my apple butter on top of toast with almond butter. So almond butter, apple butter, yum. You could put it on top of vanilla ice cream. That could be a really good treat or you just eat it right out of the jar like I'm gonna do right now. Let's try it. Oh my goodness. That is seriously incredible. You don't even need any sugar, it is sweet enough. Enjoy this. Peace.